What's up guys, it's your boy Antioso7 here, and Jesus, this is the second day I'm doing a double upload in a row, huh? Well anyways, Nintendo just uploaded a Nintendo Direct Mini to their YouTube channel, completely out of the blue, so people can finally shut up about the lack of a Nintendo Direct, so... Anyways, let's get into this. So, it op and, and also keep in mind, I'm gonna just talk about the stuff that I was interested in, so it's going to be a rather short video. But anyways, <clears throat> anyways, they started it off with, and I have no script, so bear with me. Uh, they started off with Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. They basically gave us a lot more of an idea on the game, which I like. Honestly, I didn't really like the combat in Xenoblade 2, but I mean, my opinion doesn't really matter. I'm not an RPG person, and so... But even so, Xenoblade Chronicles of Fate Edition, glad they got some more info on the game, including like a, what it's like gonna be like a new story or something like that, like Explorer's World or whatever it is. Um, it is also releasing on May 29th, um, kind of expected that, I kind of expected May would be the release of the game, and yeah, honestly overall for Xenoblade Chronicles, cool, cool showing. Then they showed off some Animal Crossing stuff, such as the update with the bunny, rabbit for Easter, and we kind of already knew about this, but to be honest, it's still cool. It's still cool to know they're going to be doing updates. I hope they do more big updates pretty soon for the game, kind of like what Splatoon 2 did, where they add like a bunch of new content at like one time. Not even like themes around a holiday, but like just out of the blue, just kind of a really cool update with a lot of clothing, new furniture and stuff. I know that's what they're doing like here, but I don't know, Over and honestly it's just, I'm, I'm already hooked on this game and I'm excited to really try out this stuff, so yeah. Uh, next they showed off Catherine Full Body for Switch, which was already leaked through the rating system, I think, believe it was. I believe it, the game is already rated for Nintendo Switch, but so cool to know that this game's coming. I'm honestly really unsure if I want to get this or not, because I really did enjoy Persona 5, and it does really look like this game does get have like the Persona treatment and whatnot. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna get it. I have kind of thought about it. This might be my chance to get it. Um, I'm not sure though. It's coming July 9th, I believe. Um, not too bad of timing. Honestly, there's not really a lot to say for a lot of these, so... There, there, there will be a lot of short segments, but... I'm excited to see it. I've, I've seen some gameplay before. It looks interesting, to say the least. But overall, I'm kind of excited to see that happening. Glad it was officially confirmed. Then they showed up this brand new Ring Fit Adventure update, which looks so cool. So, um, the first part of it is like the whole rhythm game thing. And I'm and, and I wish I kind of talked about this before because I could have like I wish I said something on like Twitter or something like that about like what I was thinking because. I, like, there, like, for a while, I was just wondering, what if Nintendo made a rhythm game where, it's not like Rhythm Heaven, but it's like, a rhythm game where you just do something to, like, various Nintendo songs from, like, various Nintendo games, and I wish I said something before, I wish I spoke up, because they basically did it right here, part, I mean, yeah, it's only for, like, I think three games, Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, Breath of the Wild, but I wish I said something because that right there could have really counted as an actual prediction. I kind of thought something like that. I kind of thought of something like that and I thought it would be cool. But honestly, really cool to see. Um, looks really hard too. Um, really hope there's a difficulty slider with how fast those notes were going. And they also showed off some more jogging exercises, which is of course cool. Ring Fit Adventure is such a cool game. And honestly... This might definitely pick me up to play the game more and more. And also, if you're wondering where the hell my review of the game is, I, I'll make a review soon enough. I just haven't played enough of it, but this might do it. This might make me actually get out of my bed and actually do something for once. Especially during this time, as well during this whole quarantine. So overall, the Ring Fit Adventure part was really cool. I Honestly, I'm excited to even try it out later today as well. So that's really cool. Next was a little bit more interesting. Uh, they didn't necessarily, ex like, they basically said, like, 
we're building it up to like a like this thing to a new Smash Brothers character for Volume Six, I believe it is. Or well, no, not Volume Six. Uh, Challenger Pack Six. I don't have a script, so I'm sorry. And but they didn't really say which character it's going to be. They basically said it's going to be a character from Arms, and that it's going to be releasing in June, and that they'll be having new information soon. Honestly, I'm completely fine with this. Um, I when it came to Byleth, we've already had so much Fire Emblem representation in Smash Brothers that I, I mean, it was so much. I didn't really feel like we needed it, and. That's why we felt more underwhelmed. But with ARMS, I mean, there is a Springman Assist Trophy, which does make me wonder which character they're going to be bringing over. Um, and there's a good amount of, like, um, ARMS spirits in the game. I think of, like, Ribbon Girl and, like, other characters. But I know not... But I don't think every single ARMS character has a spirit in the game. But, um... Really cool. I I'm kind of excited to see it. They didn't even put the ARMS main theme in Smash Brothers, anyways. In, like, the song like playlists from what I know which I don't know honestly I'm kind of excited to see arms characters I don't know necessarily which one it will be I don't think it's gonna be Springman considering again he's an assist trophy very very strange unless they change Springman into like a character or something like that to be which to be honest please don't do that Nintendo because then at that point then People will then so many people are gonna just say that Waluigi is possible. Please, I'm gonna just assume it might be Helix or Springtron because Springtron is like a spite Springman clone, so I mean it could probably work. But I also feel like Helix was one of the more interesting characters and probably one of my personal favorite characters to play as in Arms just because of how cool he looked and played. I don't know, really interested in seeing what they're going to do maybe it'll even be max brass i don't know coming out in june makes sense considering i did i do believe that they actually are pushing the fighters pass back so overall i wish they actually revealed just like they didn't even have to show us a move set or anything i think just saying which character it was going to be would go a long way i would be completely fine with that but overall i'm excited unlike the Byleth character which just kind of irritated me and even to this day kind of still does even though I have been meaning her I'm excited to see what's up next for the Smash Bros game whatever and that's basically all I can really talk about honestly that's all the stuff I was interested in they also showed off like the Pokemon Sword and Shield expansion pass which I don't really care much about because uh, they also showed off Bravely Default 2, but I'm not really that big into RPGs, unless it starts with a P and ends with Ursona. If it's not that, then I don't really care about many RPGs. So, that pretty much wraps up my thoughts on the individual stuff. How did I think the Nintendo Direct was as a whole? Well, it was fine. I'm kind of, I am glad that they did give us some more info on some stuff. They, they did have some good stuff, but the problem is that a lot of this stuff was stuff we already knew. Like, the Catherine Full Body, we already knew about that. And even stuff like the Bioshock collection and, like, Borderlands collection. I think we all, I think we already knew about those. So, I don't really know why they had such a long segment on that. We already know about the Sword and Shield expansion pass. Um... But just nothing new. I know this is a Nintendo Direct Mini, but still, they should have at least had something new for the new year. Because, seriously, Nintendo's lineup for 2020 isn't looking very good. They had Animal Crossing New Horizons a few days ago, and they'll have Defi Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition in May, which I'm not a Xenoblade person, so that doesn't really speak to me at all. And that's it. Now, maybe they'll reveal something, like, around E3 time. Now, of course, I know E3 2020 is cancelled. But I don't know. I, I think they're still going to be doing a digital event. Maybe around then we'll finally see something brand new from Nintendo. Or who knows? Maybe they'll be doing a Nintendo Direct next month or in May or something. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Hopefully, we don't get another Nintendo Direct drought this, like, for this long. 
even though this is a mini, I still want, like, I honestly speaking, I, I want to see more Nintendo games for this year. Like, there are still so many series that don't have games on the Switch, and the fact that Nintendo hasn't really, and, the, and, and that's, and the, one of the biggest problems I'm having right now is that there's nothing to be hyped about. Now that New Horizons just released, now I'm not hyped for any future Switch games. There's no Switch games that I'm really hyped for because there just it just isn't there. There's nothing new that's really coming out from Nintendo themselves. Look at 2019. Like 2019 we had so many games, but like now this isn't looking good at all. Even and hell, even in 2018, they showed off a good amount of games that were coming out during 2018 pretty early in the year. I mean, yes, they revealed Super Mario Party at E3, but they showed Smash Brothers in the March Nintendo Direct of that year, and we still had a good amount of games that were coming out that year. I don't know. So, overall, this Nintendo Direct was alright. But I feel like, but I feel like it's highlighting a very big issue with the Switch right now, and that is there's a very big lack of first-party games. So, yeah. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Um, honestly, to be completely honest, I just don't know. I don't know. If you, if I were to give it a score, eh, I guess I'd score from like a six out of ten. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't really great either. Hell, I might even put it at a 5 if I feel like it, but I'll leave it at a 6. 6 out of 10 if I were to give it a score. Well, thanks for watching and take care.